Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to find out who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and leave your predictions down in the comment section below or with a video response. And who knows, your comment or your video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Bayonetta, the Umbra Witch, and Shadow, the Ultimate Life Form. This is going to be quite an interesting fight. So which of these two black and red time manipulating gunslinging amnesiac Sega properties who know an Eggman will win in a battle to the death? Yeesh, that's a lot of oddly specific similarities. Let's find out. This is Universes. Umbra Witches and Lumen Sages, symbols of darkness and light keeping the balance of the universe. Each side kept to themselves and forbid members of the opposite clan from mating with each other as they feared the result of this would lead to the destruction of the universe. And of course, two rule breakers, Balder and Rosa, got busy which led to the birth of Cereza, who you may know as Bayonetta. It didn't take too long for an all-out war to break out over this. And in an attempt to prevent disaster, Bayonetta's best friend and rival Jean sealed her and her memories away for 500 years. But of course she wasn't going to stay down forever and once her multi-century nap was over she got right to work recollecting her memories and destroying the Lumen Sage's army to keep Inferno happy. But in order to do that she'll need loads of weapons and techniques. I mean geez you should see who she fights. Oof where should I start though? I mean, her weapons are pretty insane. She has a powerful set of guns, two for her hands and two for her feet. But these aren't just some ordinary weapons. These babies push Bayonetta's magic to its limits and are built to withstand any power channeled through them. She has Undyne, two powerful launchers that attack with the elements of fire and ice. There's Kafka, a cursed bow that fires poisonous arrows. There's Salamandra, a powerful set of chainsaws that can cut through even iron. And finally, Shiraba, a living blade that sucks the very soul out of its victims. Not to mention she can heal herself by dancing with the star of Dineta, and these are just a tiny fraction of her massive weapons arsenal. When it comes to her techniques though, there's Beast Within, which allows her to shapeshift into different animals for several forms of travel, whether it be flying, swimming, or sprinting really, really fast. Then there's Witch Time, which allows Bayonetta to slow down time around her, turning mere seconds into several minutes for an over 100 times slowdown. Add the fact that she can stack multiple Witch Times on top Top of each other and woo! Then finally there's her Wicked Weaves attacks which allow her to summon a powerful variety of demons from Inferno. She can even just summon the limbs of Madama Butterfly mid-combo for harder hits. Many of these demons, even the weaker ones, can hit with several thousand gigatons of force, enough to casually destroy an entire country. And Bayonetta can casually beat these demons into submission if they act out of line. Even Jubileus, who's a casual planet buster, but things get even crazier once Queen Sheba comes into play. While at first Bayonetta did need the help of Jean to summon Sheba, she later proved she could do it all by herself when creating Omni with Baldur. Queen Sheba can punch with over a thousand infinite tons of force. Now obviously this is a fictional measurement and can't be calculated, but it was enough to punch Jubileus across the solar system and into the sun, shattering planets along the way. And Bayonetta and Jean weren't too far behind, making it back to Earth at massively faster than light speeds in time to destroy the rest of Jubileus' remains before they crashed and destroyed the planet. Enough about the witch though, let's see if her opponent has anything that can overshadow her. Shadow the Hedgehog is the last thing you'd expect to get from an experiment meant to cure diseases. I mean, if I were an old man trying to find the secret to immortality to save my dying grandchild, 
A hedgehog is not the first thing I'd think of. Everything was actually going pretty well though until an alien race got involved and then suddenly the government freaked out because super-powered hedgehogs are completely normal but aliens, oh no! Anyways, the government decided to put a stop to this collaboration by storming the place and chasing down Shadow. Unfortunately, they weren't fast enough and missed and ended up hitting Maria, the already dying grandchild I mentioned earlier. And oh boy, Shadow was not happy, especially since he couldn't even remember it all for a while, just feeling angry and not knowing why. But he did remember eventually and realized Maria told him, hey, don't take your anger out on the humans, so he decided to fight for good. Of course, Shadow has the usual Sonic series powers, the spin dash, the homing attack, the super speed, but Shadow can also somersault with bursts of fire and even carries a weapon or two. He mainly holds generic guns, but will use anything else he can find as a weapon, even street signs. But that's not all. Shadow also has the unique ability to channel chaos energy for several different uses. There's chaos control, which can slow down time for what appears to be a complete stop, though some fast enough like Sonic are able to move through it. There's Chaos Spear, which allows him to fire chaos energy that bolts at people. He can also create several other forms of dark chaos energy that either appear out of nowhere or shoot towards enemies, like Chaos Magic or Roaming Chaos. Shadow can also heal himself by meditating and manipulating the powers of chaos control to repair injuries and damage. Then finally there's Chaos Blast, a powerful burst of negative chaos energy that obliterates everything in the area. If these powers aren't enough though, Shadow can use the full energy of the Chaos Emeralds to become Super Shadow. This form grants enhanced speed, strength, defense, and the ability to fly. Only for a limited time though, so let's see what this Chaos Energy can do. In his base form, Shadow can keep up with base Sonic who can run at hypersonic speeds, and he's able to defeat Mephilus who can one-shot Sonic. But the real party starts when Shadow actually transforms. The super transformations in Sonic are not an increase in power for the specific users, but are instead the users harnessing the power of the Chaos Emeralds, meaning whatever they can do, the user can do as well. Dr. Eggman even wants to use the energy from the Chaos Emeralds to crack open the Earth when he awakened Dark Gaia. And Super Shadow was already on par with Super Sonic anyways as they both face similar threats, are pretty much equal in base form, and often fight each other or work together. These super forms do increase their speeds though, allowing them to move faster than light, and Shadow's chaos energy even gets enhanced as he was once able to teleport a city-sized comet. And all these powers get enhanced even further once he removes his inhibitor rings. But is that enough to defeat Bayonetta? Let's find out and take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. With the power of these emeralds, I'm going to conquer the universe. This is who I am! <laughs> Hello YouTube, this is on the Mighty bring you another universe prediction. Okay. So this is Bayonetta vs. Shadow. And right off the bat, I might as well have to say that while I don't slightly like Bayonetta, I slightly dislike Bayonetta. And I prefer Shadow a lot. I really do. I like that Julian K. Biss machine theme. We all danced in fire. Anyway, yeah, that. I like Sonic Heroes. We like Begin Man. Anyways, I gotta say Bayonetta because she has more weapons than Shadow. She's supposedly stronger than Shadow. And she is more skilled than Shadow. And sure, both can slow down time. Shadow has Chaos Control, Bayonetta has Witch Time. But here's the thing Bayonetta's Witch Time can be used as many times as possible. But in Smash Bros., it's a counterattack. Now, I know Leopolda Brave. Really, 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 really loves her. But that's not the reason why I'm picking her. The reason I'm predicting Bane to win is because of her skills, her movesets, and also the fact that she's way stronger. Like, she killed Jubileus, God, and all that stuff. I mean, sure, she needed John's help, but then she summoned Omni. She can even go total to of Lopter. While Shadow in a super form can go total to with Solaris. But that's only in a super form. If we're using if he's if Leopold's only using base Shadow, then he's screwed. But anyways, um That's That's all I gotta say. Bane has all sorts of weapons, she's uh, all she has all sorts of skills and experience. She should be stronger. Oh yeah, she's also more durable because she survived blows from I think I heard that she survived blows from Planet Busters. And all that stuff, but maybe Shadow could survive blows uh, from all those beings. I don't know. I have a feeling Leopold the Brave is gonna do something like this, but 
that's not, again, this is not why I'm going for Bayonetta. I'm going for her because of what I know. She's more skilled, faster, I think. But even if we give Shadow a speed advantage, Bay will still win because she's stronger, more skilled, and has gr more experience and has greater arsenal. In my opinion, I would rather mix skill and experience and put on an experience. But, some, but Leopold has a tendency to like separate those two, but... Anyways, I'm not gonna ins insult Leopold. He's alright. Bayonetta is sort of okay, but I just slightly dislike her. But I'm still going over her anyway, and this is coming from a guy who prefers Shadow. This is an awkward prediction. Bill is going to win. What's up, guys? Super Sonic 2016 here, and today, this is so crazy because it features the next universes of Guy of Guile versus Paul Phoenix. Uh, between uh, Shadow the Hedgehog from Sonic versus Bayonetta. Okay, so, and this is going crazy because I thought it was going to be Bayonetta versus Dante because people always want Dante versus Bayonetta because I'm tired of that. But it features the next time from Shadow the Hedgehog instead to fight Bayonetta. And this is go, and this has gone weird. So today, of who I think is going to win, Leo, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to go with Shadow on this one, because Shadow is the, like the uh, Cologne version of Sonic, because he doesn't even care about things so much as Bayonetta does, but still, Bayonetta doesn't have what it takes, she usually lost against Dante, if you watch the death battle, but she usually uh, does, didn't stand a chance against Dante, so I'm feeling that she doesn't stand a chance against um, uh, like Shadow. So, uh, Shadow is gonna have to take the lead on this one, so, uh, Ben, you stink! Go Shadow! So, everybody, please subscribe to Leo Bolder Brave. Everybody, please subscribe to me, too. Thanks for watching. Peace out! And the results are in. The winner is... Bayonetta. What? You thought headbutting skyscrapers and throwing satellites were all she had? Check again. Leaving out all of her most important goodies would give her opponent such an unfair win, now wouldn't it? Now let's see how Bayonetta takes this fair and square. Well, in the area regarding stats, they're pretty much equal at their peak with planet level stats and massively faster than light speeds. But when it actually comes to the speed, Bayonetta is over 400,000 times the speed of light from crossing the solar system in as little as a minute with Jubileus. And while Shadow is massively faster than light too, we don't know by how much. There is literally zero reason to assume that he'd be equal or greater than Bayonetta in speed considering he hasn't shown any speed feats even close to hers. When it comes to strength, Bayonetta and her strongest summons can defeat Planet Busters while Shadow using the power of the Chaos Emeralds as Super Shadow is also planet level. But Shadow's strength and speed are extremely limited as they're exclusive to his super form which can run out at any time. Shadow's base form is completely screwed. Meanwhile, Bayonetta's stats are all her own, not to mention she can completely outnumber Shadow with her summons that are at the same power. Now you could try to argue that Shadow could just negate Bayonetta's speed advantage by using Chaos Control, but she's just too fast. Sonic in his base form can reach up to hypersonic speeds yet was still able to to move within Chaos Control, so he wouldn't be slowing down Bayonetta anytime soon with her insane speeds. Not to mention, Bayonetta's Witch Time is much more useful anyways as it can slow down time further than anything Chaos Control has done, and she can stack multiple Witch Times on top of each other, preventing Shadow from countering it with Chaos Control. Now Shadow can do a lot more with Chaos Energy than just slow down time, but Bayonetta's arsenal is much more useful. If you think about it, most of Shadow's powers are exactly the same. Chaos Spear, Chaos Blast, Roaming Chaos, Chaos Magic, they're all just bursts of chaos energy in different shapes that do nothing more than hit you. Meanwhile, Bayonetta has weapons with tons of properties like weapons that can poison you or suck out your very soul. Overall, Shadow's loss here has to do with his extreme limits. His speed and strength are limited to a super form which is very limited in how long it can last, while his arsenal is limited to chaos energy which has a limited number of uses. Meanwhile, Bayonetta's stats and arsenal are free for her to use anytime she wants as much as she wants. The winner is Bayonetta. Dance, boys. Get ready for the next battle. When the world needs a hero. Ah! ah, not that hero. When the world needs a hero. I am that hero. I give up.